All right, I want to start begin this video by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ha Kodash, the bodies of the apostles and the elders of the most known, and Shalom to the Lord's elect, beginning with the 144,000. This is a Ratiza from the Great Most Known JMS Atlanta camp with another uh, quick video. All right, I just want to use this video you see on your screen uh, as the basis of this video. I was watching this uh, live stream actually last night from these brothers. They was going in, bringing a lot of, you know, beautiful points. They hit all, they basically hit all, you know, hit the, you know, the various scriptures. <clears throat> you see the title of the video they, uh, they did was a warning of what's to happen before it happens. Which essentially is uh you know basically to prophesy, you know to to warn of um to set events that's written of in the scriptures you know prior to them taking place, you know and uh pretty much you know the prophecies which I'll, I'll title the uh, the video <clears throat> it's not a matter of of if but when, you know it's not if the prophecy is going to happen but it's you know when all right because why the the you know as they brought out in the video or the live stream. All right, second entrance to the fifteenth chapter, I believe. You read the first verse it speaks about how the word of the Lord <clears throat> is faithful and true, meaning that you can always bank, <laughs> all right, and count on the word of the Lord, man. The things that's written in the scriptures, the various prophecies, the judgments, it's all bound to happen. And certain things have already happened that was prophesied thousands of years ago, but it's still more things that the Lord spoke. You know, by the mouth of the prophets, you know, written down, you know, on scrolls by the hand of the scribes. You know, it's all confirmed, man. It's only a, it's only a matter of when, you know, such as what you got martial law, the civil unrest, Jacob's trouble, the famine. All right, uh, um, you know, the MLTB, World War Three, and ultimately salvation, and then the um, kingdom. You know, so I just want to add on to what these brothers are going into. All right, you find a time. I said, this brothers watched this live stream. It was bringing out a lot of a lot of heat, man. It just kind of sparked me to, you know, want to add some uh, some scriptures to it. All right, so I'm gonna start. <clears throat> all right, in the book of Psalms, chapter thirty-three. Excuse me, and uh, beginning at the tenth verse. Okay, Psalm thirty-three and ten. It says, "The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught." He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. All right, which you know the heathens <clears throat> are the other nations. Okay, such as the, you know Esau, which is the so-called white man. Uh, you got Ham, which represents the so-called African, so forth and so on. All right, all the heathens and their uh, uh, you know their rulers, they have their plans. You know, um, hell, they even have they they their own set of prophecies. Yeah, we, we you know we plan on doing this in the year twenty fifty. You know, got Esau talking about he gonna he gonna do this and do that. He wanna go to Mars and <laughs> he wanna have this done. You know, so like the on the left hand side, you know, they had their set of prophecies and plans and things that they want to accomplish. But it says what the Lord bringeth that to naught, and their devices meaning that meaning their their, their plans to none effect. You know, so Esau, all right, which again is a so called white man wants to establish. The NWO agenda or the New World Order agenda, <clears throat> all right, which the MOTB is a part of that. That's 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 not going to follow through. The Most High is going to is going to halt their plans, man. You see, but what? First, uh, excuse me, verse eleven in Psalm thirty-three it says, "The counsel of the Lord standeth forever; the thoughts of His heart to all generations." See that? So the Lord's counsel, His counsel can go into the Lord's will, His prophecies, His word. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's what's going to stand forever. All right. That's never going to be, uh, you know, brought to naught or brought to nothing. You know. So this is all the game. This is all the 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 uh, doings and the will of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. So his counsel or his word is going to stand, man. Okay. So again, it's not a matter of if, but when. Okay. And uh, just reading on. <clears throat> Next scripture is Isaiah chapter forty-six. And uh, getting to the point, verse 10. All right, Isaiah 46 and 10, it says, Declaring the end <clears throat> from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Okay, yeah, so there's certain uh, things or events written of in the scriptures <clears throat> or things that the prophets spoke that haven't come to pass yet, such as what, the, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, uh, 
you know, the, the, the uh, you know, uh, a, a famine or the MOTB, nuclear fire. <clears throat> okay, these things are not yet done, but there are prophecies that have already taken place already. All right, and reading on, it says, saying, my counsel will, uh, excuse me, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. See that? So, they, so they, it goes the word counsel again. So the Lord's counsel is going to stand. And he's going to do all his pleasure, which his pleasure is his will. All right. So it's the most highest pleasure to bring nuclear fire upon America, which is Babylon the Great. You know, it's the Lord's pleasure to bring Jacob's trouble, you know, in which, uh, you know, the, the uh, Bishop Atazawam, you know, here in the Atlanta camp always brings out how <clears throat> it's, it's, you know, it's called Jacob's trouble. But really, all all these nations are in trouble. Esau, Ham, Elam. Ishmael, Moab, whoever, you know, they they, they all going to catch hell in that time. But the reason why I mentioned Jacob is because if you read that in that verse, it speaks about how he's going to be saved out of it. All right. Which is the remnant that the Most High is going to protect. But the point is how the scripture says the Lord's counsel is going to stand. He's going to do all his pleasure. So anything the Lord deems fit and, uh, you know, what he's already established before the foundations of the earth Man, again, this is not a it's not, not a matter of if but when. <clears throat> All right. And uh actually we read on, it says uh verse eleven, it says calling a ravenous bird from the east, the man that executeth my counsel from a far country, yeah, I have spoken it, I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed it, I will also do it. See that? <laughs> Yeah, so the Lord's will is going to be done. Okay, it's the Lord's will to destroy America, Babylon the Great. All right, yes, America is mentioned in the Bible, but it's you know it's, it's mentioned under you know uh, you know various ancient names like you know Babylon, Egypt, you know the, the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. <clears throat> All right, various names like that. Okay, and it's destined to be what brought down in this coming Third World's War, in which we see uh, you know. On a daily basis is, is is becoming more and more you know uh obvious that you know we're basically on the brink of all our war man and then, then on the flip side you got it's got elon musk and these other um uh, uh uh i guess scientists if you want to call them that they're you know constantly going through tests to uh bring forth this uh brain chip or brain implant which is which is going into the um mark of the beast Right, the MOTB. So, you know, these these things is happening. You know, so you know, for us who believe, it's you know, it's no it's no reason to doubt or second guess this thing. You know, when basically the, the Lord is showing us that this thing is happening, but it's 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 happening in a in a in a in a, in a gradual way. You know, it's almost like the Lord is kind of has a, a a kind of like a like a like a, like a two way type of situation where it, it seems like it's tearing. As it says in the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, which speaks about how the vision is going to tarry, but then it shall not tarry. So it seems like it's taking long, but then on the flip side of it, it's, it's happening fast, man. See, so we just got to, you know, you know, just, you know, hold fast. All right. So let's, let's go from there. Got a couple more scriptures here. Psalms 135. And, um. Yeah, this is jump to the point. <clears throat> Psalms 135. Actually, let's start, at, let's start at five, and then the point is at verse six. It says, For I know that the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, is great, that our Lord is above all powers or gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that he did in heaven and in earth, in the seas and all deep places. See that? So anything the Lord pleased. It's going to be accomplished, all right. Whether it be in the heavens and in the in the, in the in the in the spiritual realm, all right, in the earth, the planet Earth, the seas, and all the deep places, all right. Any, anywhere uh, where there is existence, the will of the Lord is going to be done, okay. And you know, currently, obviously, you know, we're all on the earth, so the Most High's will is going to be brought forth, as I just mentioned. You know, various things, whether, whether you're going into the the deliverance, salvation of his of his people, the Israelites, starting with the elect, as well as the uh, one third. <clears throat> All right, You're talking about the other prophecies, these things are going to come to pass. 
you know and I always I always make reference to this <laughs> you know I always like to bring it out but uh, if you watch the movie the book of Clarence all right it's pretty good pretty good movie if you haven't watched this just check it out uh but it's a it's a scene in there where uh they're at the last supper all right or the um you know you read about the last supper or the Passover you know prior to the Lord's uh death it was a scene where they was sitting at you know at the at the table and we know the, know the story of uh Judas uh excuse me Judas Iscariot was basically set up to basically sell the Lord out you know the story where the Lord said you know you see him that uh reaches in how's it worded he reaches his hand in the um in a dish with me you know this is the same that will come against me uh, roughly paraphrased when we watched the movie uh Judas Iscariot basically his hand <clears throat> All right, his hand started to basically move on his own, and he started to reach into the reach into the reach into the basket. And everybody was looking at him, and he was trying to stop his hand from from you know grabbing the bread or whatever, but he couldn't stop it. And that basically showed that look, the the the, the, the prophecies that's written because it was written for him to basically sell to basically sell out to the Romans, so he couldn't stop it. So that this is the point to bring out how cannot stop the word of the Lord, man. It's written. It's, it's, it's confirmed. It's stamped. It's etched in stone. You can't fight against it. Okay? So let's get one more. Then we'll go ahead and sign off. All right? Uh, Psalms. Excuse me. Proverbs. Chapter 19, verse 21. And it says, there are many devices in a man's heart. All right? Heart goes into, uh, into your mind. Okay? The from the Hebrew word lob. So there's many devices or plans in a man's in a man's mind, right? You have certain plans, things you want to do, things you want to accomplish, or hell, things you don't want to do. You know, just like I mentioned, reference the movie The Book of Clarence, all right, with Judas Iscariot. All right, he was trying to stop stop himself from reaching his hand in that in that in that dish. But hey, it was it was written in, in his story for him to do that. Okay, reading on it says, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord. That shall stand. So it just reiterates what we read in the prior verses, in particular uh, Psalm 33 and 11. Okay, the counsel of the Lord is going to stand, even though man has his own thoughts and, and uh, plans and things he want to do. Hey, it's all about the Lord's plan at the end of the day. That's why it tells you in, in the book of James, I can't remember the chapter, but it speaks about how we're supposed to say Lord willing. You know, I think, is that James 1, if I'm not mistaken, or James chapter 2? Speaks about how, you know, we always supposed to say, Lord willing, we'll do this or we'll do that. <clears throat> you know, yeah, you know, hey man, you know, Lord willing, tomorrow I'll be able to get up, work out, you know, run some errands and then do a lesson or whatever, or, you know, do this. So, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know. You may have your plan, your whole day laid out <laughs> for tomorrow and then you wake up, you, you, your whole day go totally different. Why? Because that's the will of the Lord. The Lord didn't want you to do that. The Lord wants you to do what He wanted to do. You see what I'm saying? So it, it, that's that's on a that's on a, 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 on a on a on a small minor level, but on a macro level, all right. We're talking about big major prophecies, man. Nuclear destruction, as I mentioned earlier, the MOTB death throughout the earth. All right, chariots, UFO invasions. All right, the, the Coming the coming of the Lord to, to, to also add to that fire, bring war to the earth as well as to save his elect from the four corners of the earth. It's gonna happen, man. All right, so yeah, you know, I just wanted to add on. Like I said, you know, brothers was going in last night. Like I said, this basically inspired me to, you know, to you know, just go into a couple of scriptures on that. Yeah, man. As I mentioned, it's a, it's a matter of, of not if but when. All right, so with that. The woman you was edified, giving the praises on the glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachakwadash. And a low woman the spirit hit, I'll come back with another uh video. Shalom.